Upwork operates an online marketplace for freelancers. The stock boomed during the pandemic when people were stuck at home, but shares have fallen over 80% since. At the latest price, Upwork has now got a market value of $1.3 billion. It's got almost $500 million of cash and investments on its balance sheet, and $360 million of debt, so the enterprise value is $1.2 billion. Revenue over the last 12 months comes to $744 million, with $74 million of net income and $7 23 million of free cash flow. So the stock is now valued at 18 times earnings and 16 times free cash flow. That valuation is not bad when you look at Upwork's recent performance. Average revenue growth over the last five years is 22%, with sales up 14% over the past 12 months. Crucially, Upwork recently turned the corner on profitability. Cost cutting helped total operating expenses to decline by 10 percentage points in the latest quarter. As a result, adjusted EBITDA margin more than doubled to 21% and free cash flow surged to 33.5 million. If Upwork repeats this kind of performance, free cash flow for the year could hit 134 million, which would put the valuation at under nine times free cash flow. And management does think the efficiency will continue. The goal is to hit an adjusted EBITDA margin of 35% in five years time. It's not all good news however. Gross sales volume in the quarter fell 2.7% and management reduced their revenue guidance for the full year on signs of weakness. And investors are worried that artificial intelligence could disrupt the usefulness of Upwork since many Upwork projects could feasibly be done by AI. However, there's also an argument that AI could end up being a net positive for Upwork. Management said that sales volume from AI-related work was up 67% year over year, and they talked up a relationship with OpenAI. Even so, there are still two big problems that face Upwork. The first is that no one really likes the platform. Freelancers find it hard to get work amongst a sea of low-cost competition. Meanwhile, clients face frustration from too many low-quality candidates and cookie-cutter job proposals. The second issue is that once a freelancer has formed a relationship with a client on Upwork, there isn't much that stops them taking the work outside the platform in order to circumvent the 10% fee. But these issues have been around for years and neither have stopped the company from growing sales and clients. There's clearly value in the marketplace and this is a business that doesn't require huge capital investment. But that said, I would like to see Upwork improve how it deals with these issues. Let's assume that Upwork can grow its top line revenue at 7% per year for the next five years and then operate with a 15% net income margin. That would result in 156 million of net income in five years time and a 20 times PE multiple would then take the valuation to just over 3.1 billion. Account for stock-based compensation and the annualized return works out to about 12.4% a year. That seems like a conservative scenario, which is why I give this stock a bullish rating. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I do hold shares in Upwork. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.